how is it going for me? You know, I think it's going pretty good. You know, I think in the beginning, a lot of people were not too um, sure of, of, of what I stood for or if I was serious about this. But I think they really know that I am serious. I'm here because I love St. Thomas. I'm here to make a difference, man. Transit is very dear to me. And I took the transit system in St. Thomas once, right? And I said, never again. Never again. I'd rather, walk, I'd rather do anything else on this planet because I, I'm not trying to make it comedic, but it was, it, it was awful. It was so awful. I, 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 was, I, was, I, was, I took it one way. I asked for a transfer to continue my route. They told me no. I said, what do you mean no? Well, you can only transfer one location, which was the mall. I said, how? I said, how does that make any sense whatsoever, shape, or form, right? So now this city, it, it, it's, as, as Heather was saying, um, that they, they do have partnerships with Uber, where it's like um, they supplement Uber so you can get around within the city. Also, at the same time, too, um, there, there is a wonderful program that um, in Kitchener Waterloo called RICO. Okay? Now, if you actually go there, it's a, it's a system like Uber, but it's actually a lot cheaper. And, and, and it's a ride sharing program that allows you to actually pick up people going towards the same direction. And those people, three or four, five people within that, sorry, about four people within that car are able to supplement the cost that would have cost, hypothetically, if I'm going down the street, it's going to cost me $10 and I, I pick up four people, then those four people split that, 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 that $10 up into like $2.50 or whatever. So right call, I actually did speak to them. They're willing to come to St. Thomas. It just needs the city's approval. Um, I went and spoke to um, the trans... There's only one track, there's only one bus in Tilsonburg, but they were eager to, to have a partnership because it's a lot of people that live in Tilsonburg that want to come to St. Thomas. They were eager to do it. They were like, please, 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 can't we do it? You know, stuff like that. Also, at the same time, um, I, I would suggest to allow other cab companies to come into the city because right now, you, you have a monopoly cab system that's divided up into two systems, I mean two, two owners, uh, and, and they're financially raping the, the, the citizens when it comes to cab fares, and that should not be allowed. Like, I, that, does, that cannot work in any other city because they have options. Right now we have zero options. If, if you don't have a cab, if you don't have a car, if you don't have a car, you have to take the cab, because the transit system, you gotta throw that away until, unless Heather, just like Heather was saying, unless we scrap it and rebuild it. We need to have competition for these guys. Allow Uber or any other ride-sharing system to come in. They're gonna change their tone after a while, and they have no choice but to bring down the prices to, a, to, to, to cater to humanity. And, and, and also at the same time, too, uh, uh, there is programs out there right now that's existing called the Regional Ride Share Program, right? It's actually a ride share program. It's a website you go on there, it caters to Tilsonburg's surrounding area, St. Thomas, London, where it's like you just punch in your information where you're going, and it's going to give you a list of people that are going towards the same direction, and both you guys negotiate how much each one of you guys have want to pay to reach that destination. I think we need to promote all these programs that people don't even know it exist. The younger population know it a little bit. Uh, most people, most younger generation, they just say, hey, I need to get to Toronto on a ride share. Let me go on Kijiji. Let's see who's going to Toronto. Or let me go on um, what's the Waterloo ride share or any other um, university out there. They're able to get to Toronto for $20, you know? And I can't even go down the street for $20 in St. Thomas, right? <laughs> so we need to stop the evilness that's happening with the monopoly in, 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 in the cab system and, and just bring in all these other people and allow them to, to force them to deal with the fact that you cannot financially rape this, this city no more. Now, the three parts that I work on in this city, the first thing, transit. That's the first thing. Um, because you know the transit the transit is the key component to a thriving infrastructure without transit the infrastructure it, it, is, it goes haywire you know what I mean you have all these things you have the stores you have the restaurants but you can't get to them it's pointless right that's the first thing the second thing is we need to concentrate on, on the mental health because mental health is the reasoning why there is a drug issue here it's not the other way around mental health if you concentrate on recovery programs and, 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 and creating avenues where they can get treatment, counseling, and was, you're going to see automatically that, 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 that the drug issue is going to start going lower and lower and lower. And the last thing 
is bring back the arts into the city. Okay, bring back the arts. When people are, 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 want to go into, inside a city, the first thing they do is like, what can we do? You know, where's the coolest restaurants that, that we cannot get where we're coming from? You know what I mean? Where is, uh, where is the nightlife? Right now, St. Thomas doesn't have any of that. You concentrate on that, you will not have no issue attracting brand new individuals to the city. You will, not, you will not have any issues attracting businesses to the city. You will not have any issues attracting um, festivals, um, tourism, anything like that. That's it.